What's up guys, Rampage here again bringing you today's question of the day. So for today's question, I'm going to be asking you guys, what is your favorite shiny Pokemon from the 5th generation? Which includes Pokedex entries from Victini to Genesect. And for me, I'd have to say that my favorite shiny Pokemon from Generation 5 is more than likely Victini. Yeah, probably Victini. Maybe Zekrom after. Zekrom or Cafagragus after. I don't know. But I'm thinking Zik Victini is my favorite. So, yeah. Leave your answers in the comments below. And let's get started with the battle. What's up, guys? Rampage here again. And today I'm bringing you another Pokemon Showdown battle. And before I say anything, I just want to apologize for the lack of uploads this past week. Um, I can say that there are two reasons for that. One is I'm in college and I'm just trying to get accustomed to college and I've had a lot of work to do. And the second reason is because I wanted my next battle to be a Wi-Fi battle or my next uploaded battle to be a Wi-Fi battle. But I was having trouble finding some of those. I got a few, but they weren't good at all. And I really they really weren't worthy to be posted. So I'm sorry about that. But I'm still looking for some. I will get some to you guys. I'm, I know I will. So yeah. <laughs> And anyway, I'm actually trying some NU today because I really just wanted to use a Charizard and Glaceon because um, they remind me of fairy tale characters named Natsu and Gray. <laughs> because if you don't know, I love anime and I love that show Fairy Tale, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I'm not really going to go into his team too much. It just looks like he's using the Sun team. You can tell because he has Sun Threats, Charizard, Sauce Buck, and Executor. So without further ado, let's get started with the battle. So, I'm going to lead off with my Golurk, and my opponent's going to lead off with a Volbeat. He's just going to go for the Sunny Day the first turn, as I'm going to set up my Stealth Rocks. And now, I'm actually going to switch out into my War Turtle right here, predicting him to go for, like, a Tail Glow or something, because I'm thinking he's just going to want to Baton pass the Tail Glow. That's what I usually see with Volbeat. So, I'm actually going to go out into my War Turtle and go for the Haze, predicting Tail Glow, but no, he just goes for the Substitute, so that's not good for me at all. And now it's just going to Baton pass out into his Torkoal, which is going to take a nice chunk from Stealth Rocks, but I don't want him spinning away my hazards, so I'm going to switch out into my Golurk because I know I blocked the Rapid Spin, I can pretty much hurt this Torkoal a little bit, and I can take Lava Plumes, I'm sure, even in the sun. So I'm going to go for an Earthquake, and he's just going to set up his Stealth Rocks right here, which is fine because I can just spin them away later, hopefully. And I'm just going to go for an Earthquake to get some damage off on this. Um, Torkoal thing. I'm a bobber. And he's going to go for a Lava Plume on me. It's not going to do too much to me. Only 36% in the sun. So that's nice. And I'm just going to go for an Earthquake right here. I really didn't care if he switched out because um, if Torkoal comes back in, it's going to be taking a lot from Stealth Rocks. So I'm just playing it safe. And if Charizard wanted to come in, that's going to take a lot from Stealth Rocks. So I just played it safe, went for an Earthquake. But he goes on to his ex uh, Executor. And I'm going to switch out into my War Turtle. Um as sleep fodder because I really don't want anything else to get put to sleep and I'm just hoping that I can live a few hits and then just take this thing or not take this thing out but wake up and go for a rapid spin that's what I was hoping for but that's not the case I'm gonna be sleep for I don't know how many turns that was I was like two or three turns and he's just gonna take me out with some giga drains but now I can go out into my Charizard I'm life orb fire blast will hurt everything on his team well barring grump pig if that thing gets thick fat which I think it does but he's just going to leave his Executor in to the Fire Blast. I take him out, and that's a dead Executor. But now it's going to bring out Volpeat. Go for the Sunny Day, giving me a nice, strong Fire Blast. And it's not like I, it was really necessary either, because Fire Blast would have killed anyway. And, but now he's going to go out into a Saws Buck. And since this thing has Chlorophyll, he's going to be able to outspeed me, take me out with a return. So now I'm going to go out into my Tangela, and I just want damage off on this Saws Buck. So I'm not going to go for the Sleep Powder. I'm actually just going to go for the Hidden Power Ice, and I do a nice good chunk to that Saws Buck. Very respectable. But he's going to switch out into his Grumpig right here, which is whatever. I really didn't care too much. And I, as I go for the HP Ice, it doesn't do shit, because I'm guessing this thing has Thick Fat. Does it have Thick Fat? I can't check with my mouse, huh? Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to switch out into my Golurk now as he goes for the Taunt, which is fine, because I just plan on going for some Shadow Punches on this thing. As he goes for the Psychic, and he gets a special defense drop, which kind of sucks. Because had he not got that, um, I would have just stayed in and gone for another Shadow Punch. But since he got the special defense drop, that's going to force me to switch out into my Glaceon. And I'm not going to take a Psychic, because Glaceon is naturally bulky. 
And I'm thinking I should be able to outspeed because Grumpig just looks slow. But no, I'm not able to outspeed. He's going to go for a Psychic and almost take me out. But I can't switch out now because Stealth Rock damage. So that sucks. And he's just going to go out into his Torkoal. I'm guessing he's hoping to Rapid Spin. But he can't live with Specs Ice Beam. My Glaceon is Choice Specs if I didn't say that before. And now um, he has his Sauce Buck which... Will take me out with a Horn Leech, and unfortunately, he will get to the point where um, he can live Life Orb Recoil, so that kind of sucks. But I can just go out into my Sock. I am Scarfed. Go for the Close Combat. Take out this Saws Buck, and now his last guy is Charizard. And um, I just gotta hope his Charizard isn't Scarfed and go for Air Slash. So I'm going to switch out into my um, Golurk as Death Bother, I believe, because. I need to um, come back in with Sock and I'll speed and go for a Stone Edge. So I'm going to father off my Golurk, come back in with Sock, go for a Stone Edge, hit, and take out the Charizard. And that's going to be the game. So that was a pretty fun game, pretty good one. Um, I've been playing a little bit of NU recently because I made this team. It's not really too new because most of the Pokemon I've used on the, another team, like a team similar. In fact, it's probably the same as that one team I used on Wi-Fi with the Glaceon, except it has Charizard over um, something else. It has Charizard over Zangoose. That's, it's pretty much the same NU team that I've used before. But yeah, that's the game. Um, don't really have much to say, except you know, just look forward to the Wi-Fi battles because I really am trying to get some more of those. Um, this college Wi-Fi is pretty good, so it's better than the one at home, so it'll be easier to get Wi-Fi battles, I feel. But yeah, that's all I had to say. So, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, why did I say without further ado? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> if you did, please push that like button. Also, leave a comment. I do enjoy reading your comments. This is Rampage here. It's been a wonderful time. Thank you all for watching. And peace out.